This past weekend, a military coup attempted to take control of the Turkish government but failed. Here in the studio with us today is Dr. Ofer Israeli to discuss the Turkish coup and its effect on Israel and the rest of the Middle East. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So, to begin, can you tell us a little bit about the coup uh, pattern in Turkey and the region, the history of coups? The history of uh, the coups in uh, Turkey is actually every decade from the 60s, uh, we can uh, see one coup, let's say in the 60s, 61, I think, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, to, uh, 2007, and last week, 2016. So, the coup is actually a pattern in Turkey, and if we want to uh, um, look around, it's actually a, part, a pattern uh, in the region uh, at all. If you are talking about Egypt, uh, only two coups in uh, five years, and then uh, Syria and Lebanon, Iraq and, uh, and Iran, and other, uh, other countries in the region. So this isn't a major shocker, it's just, you know, Turkey has a very different identity than some of the other countries in the Middle East, which is probably why it stands out mm -hmm. uh, more to people around the world. So, you know, how does this coup demonstrate the instability that, that exists right now in the Middle East? It's actually a part of this instability, I think, that um, if we're talking about, if we're uh, looking in, uh, let's say, five years from now, uh, the Arab Spring, what they call the Arab Spring, uh, it's all around. And Turkey, it's only uh, one in the chain after the, the countries around. And as, a, as we said, uh, the, the, the region is not uh, stable. Absolutely. Now, how has this coup and the recent turmoil in Turkey affected Israel, if at all? It's affect Israel. I think that uh, Turkey is one of uh, our allies, was uh, one of uh, our allies, and, and we try to get back to Turkey in a couple of weeks. So I think that uh, this coup is actually show us and uh, make us uh, to understand maybe harder that we it's impossible to rely on uh, countries around and uh, even if we are uh, uh, going to a bilateral agreements with uh, a, a country like Turkey, it's impossible to, rel to rely from, uh, from now on. We all the time uh, keep, uh, need to keep our, our eyes and be very careful uh, for the future. And, uh, Should Israel be getting involved in any way? You know, there are a lot of fears about authoritarian rule that's now taking place. All, thousands of people are getting fired. Mm -hmm. uh, intellectuals, uh, professors, you know, people in the military, obviously. It's impossible to us to choose our neighbors. So if uh, Turkey will move from a democracy to uh, maybe a less democracy, we should uh, we should uh, need to handle with uh, with this Turkey. It's impossible to us to to be involved in the, in, in our neighbors. So the reconciliation deal wasn't a mistake on Israel's part. No, I don't think it was good uh, for for uh, for uh, the time that we sign on, and actually Turkey is going on with uh, with this uh, paper. So it's I think that it was okay, and we can handle with this. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.